Please join us as we introduce you to an exciting new installation project at the Academy of the New Church Secondary Schools campus. We call it the 12 Stones Project. At each of the 12 main entrances to the campus, we have placed a large stone with an inspiring quotation from the writings of Emanuel Swedenborg. There are so many truths shared in the many books of the writings, it was difficult to choose only 12 quotes for our project. It is the hope that those chosen might be essential to the lives of all who read them. Students and community members will be able to enjoy and benefit from these ultimates, the truths for all to see carved into the 12 stones. Why is it that we have chosen to create 12 stones? The number 12 is very significant in the Bible. It is mentioned 187 times. Some familiar examples from the Old Testament would be Jacob, later named Israel, had 12 sons, and they became the 12 tribes called the children of Israel. Moses sent out 12 spies to scout on the Promised Land, and we find more in the New Testament. Jesus had 12 disciples. After Jesus performed the miracle of feeding the 5,000, the disciples gathered 12 baskets full of leftovers. There were 12 gates to the holy city, New Jerusalem, mentioned in the book of Revelation. The Bible says this about the holy city. In the middle of its street and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore 12 fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. In his writings, Swedenborg explains the importance and correspondence of the number 12. For example, in Exodus, we read that the children of Israel made a breastplate with 12 precious stones for Aaron, the high priest. Aaron spoke to the Lord by means of these 12 precious stones in the breastplate. Swedenborg reveals the deeper meaning of this in the Arcana Celestia, or Secrets of Heaven. He wrote, as the 12 stones in the breastplate represented all truths from good, they consequently also represented the whole heaven. Another common word we find in the stories of the Bible is stones. Swedenborg tells us that the stones represent truths. In another story from Exodus, after leading the children of Israel out of captivity in Egypt, Moses commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I have commanded you today, and it shall be on the day when you cross over the Jordan to the land which the Lord your God is giving you that you shall set up for yourselves large stones. You shall write on them all the words of this law when you have crossed over, that you may enter the land which the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord God of your fathers promised you. And in the book of Joshua, as the children of Israel were finally crossing into the promised land, those 12 memorial stones were set as commanded in the midst of the Jordan River. It reads, Then Joshua set up 12 stones in the midst of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant stood, and they are there to this day. Joshua also said, Do this, that this may be a sign among you when your children ask in time to come, saying, What do these stones mean to you? Then you shall answer them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. And these stones shall be for a memorial to the children of Israel forever. We too, at the Academy of the New Church, have written many of the words of the law upon these new stones set about our campus. In the Bible, we read about stones called boundary stones being used as property markers. In Deuteronomy, we read, You shall not remove your neighbor's landmark, or boundary stone, which the men of old have set. Likewise in Proverbs, we find, Do not remove the ancient landmark, again, or boundary stone, which your fathers have set. Our project strives to honor these important commands by placing these 12 stones at the main entrances to the secondary school's campus. In the work, Secrets of Heaven, Swedenborg writes this about boundaries. This practice of erecting pillars owed its representative nature to the fact that in most ancient times, stones were set up on the boundaries between families of nations to stop them crossing those boundaries to do one another any harm. 
as with the pillar set up by Laban and Jacob. And because those stones were on the boundaries, whenever the most ancient people saw them as boundary stones, they thought of the truths which exist in the ultimate degree of order. For those people saw in every object on earth the spiritual or celestial reality to which it corresponded. In Secrets of Heaven, we also learn that pillar, meaning boundary stone, stands for truth as it exists in the ultimate degree of order in the natural. The fact that it stood at the border as a sign and a witness is quite evident. So, it is with these ideas in mind that we have created the 12 Stones Project by placing these 12 boundary stones carved with inspirational quotes at the entrances to the Academy of the New Church Secondary Schools campus. The boundary stones are not meant to keep anyone out, but they are there to demonstrate that these are some of the most important truths that our students will learn here at the Academy of the New Church.